And viewers were moving on to global update. Iran began voting on Friday in a presidential election while turnout is expected to be low. Meantime, Japan's government approved lifting Tokyo's virus emergency measures a month before the Olympics. And more updates on today's International Minute. Japan's government on Thursday approved lifting Tokyo's virus emergency measures a month before the Olympics but set new restrictions that could sharply limit fans at the sporting events. The state of emergency in place in Tokyo began in late April and largely limits bar and restaurant opening hours. That measure will now end in the capital and eight other regions on June 20, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga announced. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has said his country needs to prepare for both dialogue and confrontation with the U.S. and especially to get fully prepared for confrontation. North Korea had earlier snapped efforts by President Joe Biden's administration to establish diplomatic communication. This marks the first time Kim has directly commented on Biden's administration. Iran began voting on Friday in a presidential election tipped in the favor of a hardline protege of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Polls opened in Iran at 7 a.m. local time, with Khamenei casting the ceremonial first ballot in the country's 30th election. Turnout is expected to be low as pre-election polling by the Iranian Students' Polling Agency found only 40% of Iranians intended to vote. No presidential race since 1979 has had below 50% turnout. Scott single malt whiskey makers breathed a sigh of relief after the United States agreed to suspend tariffs on one of Scotland's main exports following the resolution of a long-standing trade row between the U.S. and the European Union over subsidies to aircraft company Boeing and Airbus. Earlier this week, the U.S. and EU reached an agreement to end their dispute. IDX Channel reports.